Mary. Uh, what, 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 what time is it? You, you, you had furniture against the door. Uh, yes, yes, it, it, it was banging in the night. Mm. Uh, I never heard it. Well, no spits. How's your ankle this morning? Oh, it's, 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 it's not good. I, I, I really think I should have an X-ray. Mm. Oh. Perhaps I should give it another examination. Yes, but you're not a doctor. No, but I've spent years nursing my mother. <coughs> now, where does it hurt? Well, at, at the ankle. No referred pain elsewhere? Uh, actually, I, I don't think it will need an X-ray after all. Oh, oh good. <laughs> I just ate this lovely breakfast you've prepared, if I, if I can find me, me spectacles. Let me just give you this. Uh, Hello. Uh, <laughs> there we are. Ooh. Now, where did they go? Oh, oh you've not broken them, have you? I, I, I'll pay for any repair, obviously. In, in the meantime, what, 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 what do I do? I'll have to be your eyes from now on. Won't I? <laughs> Would you rather be buried alive or bleed to death, Norris? No more than 30 words. First prize a week in Dracula country. You, you need to drive me to an optician's. To bank holiday, they'll all be closed. There must be somewhere open. Well, not in the wilds of Yorkshire. I could have rung round to find out if you hadn't broken the telephone socket. And there's, well, there's no signal on this thing yet. Anyway, never mind all that. I, I think we've got some unfinished business to discuss, don't you? You suggested yesterday that we might have a home of our own one day. Oh, don't lie. I, 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 I suggested nothing of the kind. That was your interpretation. Am I so repellent to you, Norris? No, 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 don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, was, I was very touched with what you said, Mary, but, I mean, your, your friendship, it, it's very special to me. But, but with two failed marriages behind me, and at my time of life, I'm, I, I'm afraid I might need a little more time to contemplate what would obviously be a very big decision. Oh, for an awful moment, I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be the first person to turn your back on me. Even my mother rejected me in the end. I made to pay for that, though. Well, how, how did you do that? Do you like salad nice was? Well, yeah, 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 quite. <laughs> then why don't we have it for lunch? My mother used to hate salad niçoise. Oh, why was that? Because it was foreign. Oh, how parochial. <laughs> she was a very parochial woman. She used to think garlic was the work of the devil. Honestly. <laughs> she got it into her head that I was trying to poison her at one point. <laughs> poison? Why, why would you want to do that? Oh, for me to take revenge on all the times that she's humiliated me. All the times she said no. All the time she's crushed my wish to fly the nest and, and, and become the person I was destined to be. All in the head, of course. Uh, now, which one was yours? Oh, this one. Uh, thank you. There's plenty more salad dressing if you want it. <laughs> to the nice food. Of Nice. Mm, bon appetit. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Oh. I used to say to Mother, if you insist on being superstitious, garlic actually keeps the devil away. Are, are, are you all right? Do, do you want to drink of water? An anchovy? Well, there would be, wouldn't there? But I gave you all the anchovies. I'm allergic to them. Why did you make the salad? Because you said you liked it. Only because you asked me. You swapped the plates. No. Oh, don't try and wriggle out of this, Norris. You swapped the plates. Why? <laughs> Why?
Well, that's my lunch ruined. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You lock yourself in your room. You swap the plates. What do you think I'm trying to do? Kill you? <laughs> no. Then answer my question. Why did you swap them? Uh, be <coughs> because uh, because I, I don't like salad nissoirs. Uh, I had the bigger portion, so I thought if I had yours... Then why did you say you liked it? I didn't want to offend you. I mean, what with all the trouble you were going to. Oh, and, and then when you said your mother didn't like foreign food, I, I didn't want to appear unsophisticated. You don't like foreign food? Well, yes, but, but, but not salad with fish in it. It, it makes me go all uh, queasy. But, Norris, this is wonderful. Why? Because I don't like them either. Oh. That's something else we have in common. Now we can be closer than ever. I said I'd never get further than the rest of my house. Well, I have been across Europe in my multiple. <laughs> eating all sorts of exotic food that you wouldn't even have in a house. I make a point of eating garlic every week. I bought a huge string of it in Andalusia and hung it on my rearview mirror just to spite you. You also said I'd never get a man. Well... You are wrong there, too. I have been courting a respectable businessman for months now. We haven't set a date as yet, but it's a pretty safe bet that we'll be married by Christmas. So, what do you think of that, Mother? I fancy my corsage will be peonies. And as a big admirer of the photographs of great recruits, I might go for the lilacs and blooms of his beneath the roses palette. <sighs> the line, Carla. What are you doing, Norris? You, you, you were talking to someone. Who were you talking to? No one important. <laughs> you weren't. You were talking to a photograph of your mother. I was on the phone, silly Billy. Oh, it's a C3P215 hands-free special. I won it for writing a limerick about Sir Alexander Graham Bell. Would you like to hear it? No. I had no idea there was another working phone line. I'll call you back. I think it might be time to make preparations for tea. Pride myself on my pastry. My party pie was the talk of Gabardine Parade. But then I came across Mr. Holman's ready tinned well. Held up my hand. Can't compete. Oh, I do so love the smell of a fresh pepper. The feel of it against the skin. I'm a sensationalist, are you, Norris? Uh, I... I love the rough, the smooth, heat, cold. There was a day when I was driving through the Meseta Central in the heart of Peninsula Spain. Do you know the Meseta Central? Are you feeling all right, Mary? Completely ringed by mountains. Can you imagine? Because oh, you're airing on the poetical. And I was so hot. I was the colour of that. So I pulled over onto the side of the Vestigio de Tierra, stripped out of my lemon lounges, and carried on completely naked, every now and then swigging from a cool bottle of aqua. Oh, the liberation, Norris. And I thought... 
Guess who's a sensationalist, Mary? You are. <laughs> Please, please, listen. I, I, I'm, I'm, be, I'm being held hostage. Can, 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 can you hear me? I've got one of these things in here. Can, can, can you hear me now? Yeah, well, listen. Doris? I'm being held hostage. Where are you? Hostage. This is a turn up for the books. Well, I was merely. Uh... Norris, are you trying to sneak a peek at my small? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I was phoning the police. What? I phoned the police. I told them you've kidnapped me and they'll be here in a trice. <laughs> I really don't see why you've betrayed my kindnesses thus. Because you, you're a fruit bat woman. You sound like mother. Yes, and look what happened to her. How, how could you be on the phone to your mother? She's dead. You, you've sabotaged the motorhome. You, you've cut off all telephone communication apart from your own. You, you've put poison in my food. You've broken my glasses. You've stolen my laces. Do you really want me to go on? Oh, and, and goodness knows what happened to your mother. Oh, stop talking about Mummy. You, you don't understand. You'll never understand. Oh, it's Mummy now, is it? Yes, I bet you did away with the poor old soul and I'm the next. Oh, I'm not trying to keep you prisoner, Norris, I swear. Oh. When I first met you, it was Norris Cole, competition winner who enthralled me. But now I've got to know the real Norris, the, the, the essence of Norris, and, and I've fallen a little bit in love. Well, I don't love you. Well, I know I haven't got movie star looks, but you'll never know the fear of, of losing someone like you when you're someone like me. No, 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 no. I really wouldn't do that <laughs> if I were you. I can't believe you want to leave. I will not discuss this any further. Please, save me. She, she's a mad woman. Look at her. Protect me. She, she might kill me like she killed her mother. Norris Cole. Mother is very much alive and well and living in Newton the Willows. Oh, that proves she's gargoyle because her mother copped it last year. Oh, why don't we get you both to the station and have a little chat? Yeah, but don't let her touch me. Would you excuse me while I turn down my pie? She's making a run for it out the back, quick. Or she could just be turning her pie down. Huh? Thank you. Pleasure. Maurice. Oh, Rita, am I glad to see you. What on earth's been happening? Well, I'll see. Look, have a cup and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> 